Hello, we're back with me, Mimi. So, last we heard the history of the town in which Alex and his friends live in. So there are witches in the forest. Let's see. I hate that tone of voice he used. I will never give you that. I say without thinking, showing a confident smile and look. Well, let's not say more. Take your coats, backpacks, flashlights, and some food. We're going to the forest. Stephen said, full of energy. Yeah! <laughs> you three said, at the at the unison as if we were going to have a going to have some kind of private party not know, not really knowing what we were doing or what we were going to find Two thirteen a.m. I wake I awake completely confused, not knowing how much time has passed. My head hurts like hell, but I can't blame it. Fortunately, the pain goes away quickly just as my confusion. Soon I come back to my senses. My flashlight is lying on the ground, shining towards the empty air. Immediately, I pick it up. It was my only protection against the darkness sur that surrounds us. That surrounds me. What about your friends? Then I remember that Stephen and Alfred were with me. Stephen, Alfred, can you hear me? Without thinking, I screamed their names in the dark, while trying to find them with my flashlight. But there were. There is no trace of them. They are gone. Where the hell are they? And what the heck just happened? I really don't understand anything. Shit. We have... We should have stayed at home. This is not a proof of courage. We just... We could just... We could be in danger. <laughs> I have to find them. Why don't you run home? 19 a.m. Little time pass has passed since I started to look for my friends. And I already can't stand this place. I'm going crazy in this forest. The darkness that covers it is unusual. The darkness that steals your own sanity Replacing it with anxiety to make it worse. The air is damp and cold as in winter carrying a strong rot smell. As if we were corpses of the animals hidden throughout the forest. The atmosphere in this place is observably as ob her oppressive okay I don't care what that word is with every step you take it makes you more uncomfortable since I started to look for my friends I felt that something is watching me but there is nothing I sigh with my breath full of frustration I just want to get out of here I continue walking devoid of any hope. No matter where I look or how much I walk, I find nothing. I cannot even hear the, sound, the sounds of animals. Rather, it seems they are already dead and rotten. No, I have to calm myself. I said to myself. I stopped for a moment to rest. 
I breathe deeply, but the rot air of this place does me no good. Immediately, I start to cough as if I had something stuck in my throat. Shit, shit, shit! What am I going to do? This cursed forest seems needless, endless. And even if by miracle I could escape, I could not abandon Stephen and Alfred. I'm really screwed up. <sighs> Again, I sigh. Feeling of the verge of tears. My frustration is building up, but I have to do my best to keep calm. If I fall into despair, then there is no hope I will be joining the list of the missing persons. In the end, I decided to keep walking. Step by step, I should get somewhere. At least I was convinced that staying in the same place would not do me any good. Even if it was only to deceive myself, feeling that I am doing something, I wanted to con continue walking. Time passes without any changes. Only the sound of my footsteps can be heard. Knowing that as soon as you stop, you will be surrounded by dead silence is a good incentive to keep walking to keep walking but my legs were already hurting suddenly I hear a crack coming at my feet instantly I take a step back and I yell and I and, and look below to see what made that sound what is this I whisper to myself surprise discovering that I had stepped on an animal bone. I believe that it is from an animal although I do not rule out the possibility that it belongs to a person. But for my own good I prefer not to think about that. My expression of extin extinguished, extinguished is drawn on my face. It is best to ignore it. I have to keep walking. Suddenly, my flashlight reveals something. Without hesitation, I port towards there again. Only to realize with, my, with the surprise that it's the white cat. The one from before me, which made that awful meow, but this time I find it laying on the ground. It appears to be fainted and is wounded. Then what should I do? Ignore the cat or pick her up? Let's pick her up. It is best to continue without waking her. That cat is dangerous. It is her fault that I ended up in this place. And my friends are missing. But even knowing that, for some strange reason, I can't help but feel sorry for her. Even if it's unnatural, it is still an animal. Then I've been, been down to see her close. She's unconscious and there is a thin line of blood coming from her mouth. I am a real idiot. I said to myself at that same time, I cleaned the blood from her mouth with the handkerchief that I had with me. Fortunately, she doesn't wake up. When I close her mouth, making her appearance a little better. Now she seems to be peacefully sleeping.
After a long sigh, I decided to pick her up carefully. <laughs> I don't know what the powers of this cat are, but if she brought me here, maybe she can return me to my world. With her in my arms, I decided the best thing I could do is to continue walking. 2.31 a.m. Again, I find myself in the dark forest, walking aimlessly. Only moving forward, but it didn't seem I was getting somewhere. In my arms, I carry the cat, which sleeps soundly. Come here. Here you'll be safe. Voice. I suddenly stop. My face, in my face, it was easy to see the disbelief that invades me at that moment. It's that voice again. I whispered to myself with no one to listen to me. Shortly after I found the cat, a mysterious voice appeared in my mind. It is the voice feminine soft and gentle, as if it belonged to a princess of fairy tale, but I can't trust it, and <laughs> I can't trust in it, and I'm really going crazy, am I, or is it this forest does not make sense, is it this forest that what does not make sense? I don't know, but I don't like any of the options. When I feel the cat moves in my arms, I look down at her confused just to see how she opens her red eyes suddenly. I become quiet at that instant. For a moment, the two stayed motionless. Staring into the eyes of the, of the other. The red eyes of the cat are disturbing me. Dis it's disturbing me. But also, there is something fascinating about them. Something that attracts me. I lose myself in her eyes as if hypnotized. Until suddenly she jumps with an intention of scratching my face. <laughs> my reflex is pushing her at the same time I jump back, turning my head to dodge her claws. I manage to dodge her attack, but in the process I dropped my flashlight. I panicked and acted clumsily. The flashlight falls near me lighting up a tree in the vacancy. As soon as it left my hand, I remember how dense is this abnormal darkness. I quickly pick it up, not even thinking before thinking, before taking action. And then I light. Then I liked the place where the cat was, only to discover she had arched her body angrily as if she feared an attack from me. Those eyes are scared. They're staring at me. Shining with the light of the flashlight as if they were jewels reflecting a fearsome hatred and rejection towards me. My body freezes after sitting down. I can't even think. The cat then makes a thunderous meow, similar to the one before, but weaker. Although not any less frightening. There is no doubt there is something wrong with that animal. It must be cursed. Everything is her fault. 
She must be some kind of evil spirit, a pet of the witches. I feel how panic seizes me. My heartbeat quickens, quickly begging me to do something. My mouth is dry, my forehead covered with cold sweat. What should I do? Escape from the cat? Comfort the cat. Well, comfort the cat. No, I should not despair. I have to calm down and think carefully about what I should do. With that, with that in mind, I take a deep breath and look again at her. Soon, the expression in my eyes changed from fear to courage. I realize it is only a cat without a doubt, a strange one, but my life is not actually in danger. That is not a trigger staring at me, but a simple cat. Apparently her only power is those eyes, those weird eye meows. If she could kill me, she would have would have already done that. So I rule out that possibility. Her work must be transporting the next victim to the area of the forest. So unusually and shady. After filling my lungs with air, I slowly walk towards the cat. Her meows get louder with every step. But I don't let them scare me. Seeing that I do not turn back, she shyly takes a step back. In my mind, I smiled at the image. The prey is now the hunter. I look at her directly while advancing. Little by little, her meows become weaker, as if she was losing strength. Then I suddenly jump and take her in my hands. She hardly resists at all. Not too tough now, right? You look better like this. She is trembling in my hands and looks so helpless that I almost feel like a villain. But I must not forget all that she has done so far. It's her fault that I am in this place. She brought me here, then if I kill her, would it be possible to come back? For a moment, that grim idea crossed my mind. I had never killed an animal. Truth is that I can't proud, but proud myself in doing such a thing. But if I do, maybe this legend could come, could end here and now. Then what should I do? Why would you want to kill an animal? Oh, oh, it's only, it's only logical. The magic should die along with the cat. That should be my ticket back. If I kill her, everything would be over tonight and the legend will come to an end. Confidently that it was the best, I tried to view it on my mind. No matter how hard I forced myself to see it, in the end, I'm unable to take the life of another living being, even if it is a curse. Cat, serving a witch. I don't feel good about killing her. I think I'm too nice for my own good. So the only thing that remind, remains is to keep her with me, hoping that sooner or later she allows me to escape. With nothing more to think about, I decide the best thing to do is to continue my path. You got a friend.
2.41 a.m. It's been a few minutes since I captured the cat. Again, I find myself walking with her in my arms, led by the strange voice. How long have I been walking in this forest? Apparently not enough to make it go mad, but it should be close. Don't be afraid. Come with me. I will help you. The voice sounds close at this time. It seems that I am going in the right direction. I don't fully trust in it, but it is the best I have. At least at first glance, it seems a friendly voice. I am completely focused on my way when I suddenly feel something bite me. Ah, what the heck? I shout in pain, realizing that cat bit my arm. Fortunately, it wasn't dangerous bite, but I'm sure it I'm sure, but I'm sure was painful, but it sure was painful. With my distraction, she takes the chance to jump from my arms, crawling a few steps away from me. Quickly, I set my gaze upon her furious, furious, but soon something happens that makes me forget it. Suddenly, the cat is covered with a light. A bright light, so much that it repels the unnatural darkness surrounding the forest, stealing my breath. Under the light, is f- its figure gradually changes until it ceases to be a cat to become a human figure. No longer there is a cat in front of me, but a girl with incredible beauty. I must be going crazy. She has white hair and red eyes. She seems about my age. In other circumstances, I would have asked her out without hesitation. Just thinking... It makes me laugh myself in my mind. Even at the edge madness, it seems some things of my mind will never change. She approaches slowly towards me, one step at a time with no fear. The girl, when she stares into my eyes with a slightly irritated face, Her lips are moving. She seems to be saying something, but I'm unable to hear the sound. Are you trying to tell me something? I babbled, still confused with a face of unbelief, which surely made made me look stupid. Two. She said, the girl, with a very low voice. I do not understand what she is saying. What? I can't hear you well. I asked again. I asked still confused. Suddenly the girl sprouts in a bad mood. What is wrong with you? Are you deaf? Finally I could hear her clearly. And just in time, because it seems her patience was about to end. Okay, okay. Now I hear you. I said annoyed. All the astonishment, all of my astonishment of just a few seconds ago disappeared when I see the arrogant attitude on the girl, of the girl. At least now I don't think she will bite me a hope. The girl then snorts with irritation. What an annoying guy. I had to find. 
she said at the time that place and hand on her lips making a perceived pensive, perceived face wait you should you shouldn't speak ill of someone you have right before before you I was quick to respond for a moment for a moment, I feel annoyed at the thought that I have to teach manners to this spirit or whatever she is. I pity so much beauty wasted on someone so arrogant. The girl made a snort of annoyance after hearing me. I'm sorry. It is a bad habit. That I cannot quit. She answers without sounding very repentant. Clearly a false apology. After talking, she diverts her gaze towards the surrounding surroundings as if she was bored. I see. I replied annoyed just I just met her, and I already feel like I don't like her. But anyway, anyway, that doesn't matter. I must not forget who this girl is. Save. But anyway, that doesn't matter. I must not forget who... This girl is. She was the cat that started it all. Anyway, at least, could you tell me why you attacked me and my friends? I asked shortly after asking more serious. After acting more serious. The presentation was over. It is time to go to the important stuff. And why did you bite me? If I was going, if I was doing anything, if I wasn't doing anything, before I knew it, my lips moved, asking another question. I can't lie. I was, it was angry. I was angry. The girl then sets her look on my face. She blinks with curiosity before speaking. Does it hurt the wound? She asked innocently. Yes. I was quick to respond. With annoyance. I didn't need no say more. And didn't need to say more. Of course it hurts me, silly cat. She looks at me in silence for a few seconds until all of all a sudden. She re she approaches me without any shyness or fear. On second thought, I could fear a cat that turns into a human from a simple human as I was. Show me your wound, said the girl once she stood right next to me. She... We, she present her presence makes me nervous. This girl seems to ignore what personal space is. As expressing as it sounds, I had never had a girl this close. If only it wasn't in this voice. I don't know why I shouldn't trust in her. But strangely, something tells me that she has no bad intentions. The girl, surrounded by a calm aura, something pure, unlike anything else in this forest. In the end, resigning myself with a sigh, show her my arm with the bite. Immediately, the girl sets her sight on my wound. It will only take a moment. 
She said with complete confidence when she looked up into my eyes. Could she close your eyes? She asked as her blushes, as she blushes slightly. I'm surprised to see that embarrassed face she has, even if just a little. When I, when I sigh, feeling something wasn't right, there is nothing else I can do. Okay. I said, doing as she asked. I didn't know what to expect. For a moment, I thought she would get naked or something like that. But what kind of magic can work only when you have no clothes? I don't know, but my mind sure wanted to imagine that. Come on, Alex. Keep your composure. Suddenly, I feel something warm and wet touch my womb. Immediately, I shudder. Wait, what are you doing? It is a stupid question because I knew all well what she was doing. She was licking my wound. You idiot. Who said you could watch? Was quick to respond, okay. She, her cheeks red. And embarrassment and her lips still close to my wall. She looked adorably troubled. Don't you see that I'm just trying to heal you? She then added in a bad mood. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said blushing myself. I thought you would be you would do something more extraordinary. Now I'm not sure. Is she a girl who can transform into a cat or a cat that can become a girl? Sorry to disappoint you, not being extraordinary enough, murmured the girl. At the same time, she gives me an annoyed look, red eyes shining with disgust. Is it then that I realized the pain has disappeared? With curiosity, I look where the wound was only to discover that now there is no trace of it. For a couple of seconds, I stay silent and cue Julius. It seems that your treatment worked. I finally said gratefully. I still looked at the spot. But of course, I have experience healing myself. Answered the girl closely, closing her eyes, inflating her chest to show pride. I actually appreciate what she did, but I still wonder if it, if I really had to lick, if I really had to lick it to cure me, if it had to really lick it. I understand, but who are you? Girl makes a small snort with curiosity after hearing my question. Then she tilts her head and closes her eyes to make thoughtful face. Sure, I have no presence myself. She opens her eyes and gazes into mine. My name is Ashley. So it is that it so that so it is that is her name. I expected something more extravagant. My name is Alex. Alex. 
Axel, how? By the way, have you ever been accused of witchcraft? Before I knew it, I asked the question. I guess it was after, it was rather rude before of me from me completely lacking in manners. But I must not forget for even for a second. I am in the cursed forest. Ashley suddenly became silent. At plain sight, it was obvious she didn't take it well. She takes her time before responding. Yes, but you had, but that was a long, but that was a long time ago. Then she closes her eyes and excels, emptying her lungs. She seemed to be recalling something painful. Just to see her face made me feel guilty. I'm sorry. It was not my intention to make you remember it. I said slightly remorseful. I no doubt to be accused of witchcraft must have been a horrible experience. Ashley closes his eyes closes her eyes and nods a couple times. It's okay. It's not like I can blame you for curiosity seeing where we are. Then she looks at me closely with curiosity, curious eyes. By the way, how do you know my name? How do you know me, about me? Perhaps you're a sorcerer who's lived during these past centuries. She acts narrowing her eyes as if trying to see inside my mind. What kind of question was that? No, nothing like that. I asked answered and at that moment I'm just an ordinary person I feel omitted to say boring <laughs> but she didn't need to know that it is it's just that there are stories about witches in the forest but as you can see the stories are not very convincing or else I wouldn't be here. I explained, trying to remove any doubt that Ashley may have. Again, she closes her eyes and nods. I understand. She puts, looks, she pauses and looks at me in the eyes. It is because of those stupid maths the stupid humans come to this forest just like you. She said, she then said, looking at me with rejection. Wait, what are you trying to say? We are to blame? I replied, feeling offended. Ashley suddenly looked at me disgusted. Are you an idiot? Yes, if you didn't come to my existence, would be nice and peaceful instead of this chaos that it is every year. Say, she said, in ending with a sigh and frustration. But you're one. You're the one who caused all of this. It was quick to respond. I was quick to respond. I don't even bother to hide my anger. I can't believe she says how arrogant can she be. Ashley opens her eyes, surprised. Then she looks at me with annoyance in her red eyes. Do you not understand it, stupid human? 
definitely I don't like this girl. <laughs> I'm only trying to protect you. Oh, boom. Words take my me by surprise. My surprise. Huh? I exclaimed. Exclaimed. And cleared. And cleared. You attacked You attacked me and attacked my friends only to protect us? See. Si. She simply replied as the same time she nods filled with pride and confidence. Okay, that's it. I'm getting out of here. I cannot believe how arrogant and self-centered this girl is. Every time she said she did to me and my friends, I don't know. I had only taken a few steps when I heard her calling me. She sounds really worried. You don't understand the real danger there is in here. I stop on my track as soon as I hear her. Real danger? I whispered, feeling some doubts. Suddenly I shiver. I don't look like... It doesn't look like she's lying. Yes. I try to chase them away using illusions. Other times I hit it with my power. And as a last resort, I scared them directly as it was your case. Ashley confesses confessed blushing with blessing blushing a little as if embarrassed remember and why do you do that X confused something isn't right here Ashley stares at me with her eyes if they continue with their curiosity, they will meet an evil eternity that will take their lives. What you say doesn't sound very convincing. Immediately interrupted. Here, the only evil eternity is you. Ashley shakes her head in denial. Mm -hmm. You're wrong. I am the good one. Then she said, looking into my eyes, the pure innocence in her in hers. <laughs> I can only laugh at the comment. It had to be a joke. After doing all of that, you had you say you're good. Left. I'm only trying to protect you. Replied Ashley Spears while leaving on. Then crosses on and gives me an unpleasant look. Do you expect me? Do you expect me to believe that? For me to believe me that. I replied sarcastically. She said, made no sense. But somehow she said, oh, it, it was the truth. She was surely a bit wrong in the head. But it's true. You have to believe me. This time, she sounded really worried about me. I actually, I actually feel a little worried, a little sorry for her. I actually then sat, sit silent, looking at me with puppy dog, puppy's eyes. 
However, soon she would become as her proud attitude. If you if you want hold my hand, I won't harm you. She said it later. I looked carefully at her. She had a very arrogant face, as if it was a great honor to be able to touch her. You won't do anything strange. that voice. It charms men to make them forget them. Think, think of it is think of it as inside silent. The right moment. I should explain it's in a bad mood with, with her eyes always looking the thing she didn't get well with whoever was the person for eternity. What if you be the one who cooked that food for food? I asked without thinking before what I was saying. I seriously need some more, need more experience when dealing with her. Because if only I were more popular. As she stopped suddenly, then she turns at me, showing me a fair face. You idiot. I already said I'm good. For a moment, I thought she was going to hit me in the head. Fortunately, she stopped before doing so. Or biting me again. Okay, okay. I make the response. I guess what I have school child. But if you eat me, I will make sure to give you the worst indigestion in your life. You put it, I don't eat hand. Sorry, that's the only an arrogant snack. met her she transformed she was hurt she saved us because she bit us and now she i guess she's the good witch and she's taking us home we'll see what happens next time see ya like favorite subscribe stay tuned to more videos see ya